Okay, everybody, I came to another Sam's Club, and if the cars in the lot are any indication, this is a madhouse. Arriving at Sam's Club. Ripe with germs, but we're going to go in and see if there's any hand signer, hand sanitizer. Yeah, hand sanitizer. Um, what else are we going to look for? Lysol spray and hand sanitizer wipes, the sanitizing wipes. That's what we're looking for. All right, we're parked. Let's go in. It's crazy. Different Sam's Clubs have different stipulations or roles. Sometimes they want to see your card before they let you in the door. Other ones don't even care. And then sometimes it changes back and forth. But uh, I get it out just in case. And then I struggle to find it when I'm getting checked out. So now I have a system and I just put it in my pocket. All right. Let's get a sanitizing wipe first. Well, I could give you a tour, but I'm not gonna. Just walked past the registers getting in here and each one, well, each one that's open has probably about six or seven people backed up in it. So let's see. Well, looks like somebody's buying a lot of pepperoni and uh, I think I'm gonna buy one of those too. The disadvantage of having so many um, Sam's Club's choices to go to is I forget what I got at which one. Um, right now I'm looking for the squeaky pigs for the dogs. And I know I'm supposed to be looking for hand sanity. Okay, that's nice. Stick it right in the middle of the aisle. Hmm. Okay. Okay, there they are. Found them. <coughs> These are the ones the dogs love. Three for ten bucks. Not a bad deal. Gotta love your free sample of the... <laughs> the last couple ones, let me get away from that. The last couple ones were uh, free online photo mugs and such. I hope the coupons are still good. We'll have to see. It's free scent boosters and they are actually way too smelly for me. But uh, my daughter uses those. So I'll tuck them in her stuff. Okay. Here we are with the Clorox foaming three times 30 fluid ounce bottles, $8.98. And how many do you want? Because they don't have any. Here's something I didn't notice at the other. Um, one gallon antibacterial hand soap, $6.91. Sold out. So what's missing here is the disinfectant cleaner, one gallon concentrate. That's sold out. And it looks like somebody had a mad ride on rags in the box. Maybe for reusable toilet paper. Who knows? And once again, people just don't realize, or maybe they're starting to, that Odoban is a disinfectant. And here, this spot is empty. And that's the Clorox cleanup is gone. Okay, and here's another bleach concentrate that is sold out it's the and they had it limited five per member it's three times 121 ounces for 13.98 all gone and right here are the Clorox five times 85 disinfecting wipes all gone next to that are the Clorox three times 32 fluid ounces Centiva 848 all gone and here's another one, the Dawn Dish Liquid, 90 ounces for $7.48, sold out. That could just be because it's on sale. The palette with the Power Wash Spray Dawn is also pretty much gone. But you don't know if these are transportation issues, supply issues, or uh, panic buying issues. And here's the paper towels. It kind of looks like, excuse me, the paper plates, bowls, and spoons type thing. Looks like people were planning on not being able to do their dishes or not wanting to do their dishes because they are sold down a little bit. That should be full. Hmm. 
Well, let's get down to business and go check out the hand sanny. We'll look at rice and things too. And somebody was just telling me that they're out of paper towels and here are the napkins that are gone. And I see something going on over here. People stocking up on bottled water. Oh my gosh. I wanted to get some Aquafina and there's a guy up here taking probably a hundred of them. So let's see how that goes. So there, I only took four. I left two for someone else. But apparently there's this mad rush on paper towels. This whole section is out. See that? And somebody's just stalking some bounty and the man couldn't even get to where he was stalking them without people grabbing them. This is crazy. You think? I think so. <laughs> They're out of the deer park. So I'm gonna get some of this uh, purified water. And I'm not getting water because we need to, you know, stock up and prep water. I'm getting water because we use bottled water. Um, we have well water, so we don't like to use regular water in the coffee pot or, um, and my husband just loves the taste of his water, so it's what we get him. So I'm just going to bring us down here so we can see what else is gone. Right here is <laughs> long grain white rice. Gone. That's the 50 pound bag, 25 pound bag, long grain white rice, 950 gone, parboiled 25 pound, 10, 11 dollars gone, 50 pound jasmine rice, 33 dollars gone, uh, jasmine rice, 17.98 for 25 pound gone, basmati rice, 20 pound gone. There's some quinoa. Let's see. Yeah, there's still some keen one there. People weren't, didn't, oh, but look at that. Never sticky Uncle Ben's converted rice. Gone. Although there's a lot of minute rice. What's wrong with minute rice? Nobody likes minute rice? Looks like they have uh, lots of beans. Although this Sam's Club's I don't think has dry beans. Potatoes are almost gone. Oh, they got corn. They got some green beans. Plenty of mushrooms. Looks like they still got half a pallet of peas. Although, how come everybody keeps buying all the corn? Oh, and there, green beans are supposed to be there. And they're gone. And you can get some country sausage gravy. My friend Amanda said that in her Whip It Up Wednesday, gravy makes everything taste good. Looks like some macaroni and cheese 18 pack is gone. And almost out of the Chef Boyordi ravioli. Looks like they sold out, almost out of the Prego, but not out of the Classico yet. Got half a pallet of tomato sauce, but out of the 100 ounce tomato puree. And here's the sugar. 25 pounds, uh, there's probably about 10 or 12 left. 10 pound domino sugar is all gone. Lots of 10 pound granulated Sam's Club sugar still there. The sal doesn't seem to be too decrepit. <laughs> Except for the petite dill pickles. Somebody bought all the dill pickles. Lots of olives left too. Must not be too many keto people around. Oh, here we go. Four and a half quart of corn oils there, two and a half gallon, almost gone. Looks like two left there in the back. Looks like a mad rush on croutons too. Bottom layer there, that's about it. Hey Sonny, if you're watching, these Parmesan crisps are totally a keto crunchy snack. See that? <sighs> they are an acquired taste though because it's like a rice cake made only of cheese. So it's okay, but then not at the same time. Looks like some people are stocking up on some olive oils too, but then again, these oils are also on the monthly special. So that could be why they're not here. I'm good, I don't need any olive oil. <laughs> Looks like somebody thought they'd need a lot of garlic salt. Organic basil's all gone as well. Let's see. The 
seasonal. Oh no, that's they've got that uh, the salad supreme and the old bay seasoning are gone. I uh, can't tell what's missing from there. The blend and then buttery steakhouse seasoning. Oh, but see, that's probably that one's gone. What the heck does that even mean? It wasn't selling for $140. That's ridiculous. <laughs> This yeah, because that wasn't seven hundred and twenty-nine dollars. <laughs> okay, we're good. That's just that's weird. You can't believe everything you read. And there's some pepper on sale, which is probably why it's not there. Unless you use a whole lot of pepper, it's actually better to store peppercorns. And there's some thyme leaves. Apparently, people don't realize that thyme is uh, has other benefits other than just being a seasoning and again gravy's gone and the chicken bouillon's gone uh, we like this minced garlic i just bought two the last time i was here i'm gonna get a couple more and some pop is gone some pop is not gone What's this that's going? Oh, apparently people love Pepsi and Diet Pepsi because those are what's almost gone here. They left the Coke. Uh, yep, the bottles of Pepsi are gone too. There was a man here looking for one particular brand of water. He wanted the uh, Deer Park as well, but he needed it because he needed to stock vending machines, which is why a lot of people come here. And then there's my bubbly. That's I love that water, so I'm going to get a couple of those. So a nice young man came by and gave me the last five so I contributed to an empty palette you know I was thinking I'm not is this panic buying or is it hey I want to get this while I can get it before you can't or is this hey we better get ready to self-quarantine let's get stocked up that might be what it is or are they the same thing I'm gonna have to ponder that one a little while Okay, and here we are, the moment of truth. Here's some soap that, remember, I would made that mistake before. This is a hand soap refill, and they're limiting it to five. I don't understand why it's not antibacterial. Uh, they've also limited to five of the Members Mark 4 pack, but it's also not antibacterial. Again, this soap refill, they're not antibacterial. I don't know why they're limiting them. Here you go, hand sani, out of stock, and then dial complete foaming hand wash out of stock. Here's another empty shelf. There was a mad run on moisturizer. Apparently a lot of us think that we're gonna be getting wrinkles because of uh, <laughs> whatever. Or it could just be, like I said, uh, some of the good sales that they have. A lot of times they are out. The last thing I wanted to check was the melatonin and I thought this 10 milligram was not a timed release because they had it in three places, but it is timed release, so I'm not going to get that there. And I will get these vitamins, but these are the ones we use, but I'm going to order them online because they ship them free, so I like getting things shipped free. And the last thing I'm going to show you is this Members Mark Ibuprofen. This is kind of for me too. I just, this is a 1200 pack, two 600 count bottles for $11. I think I just severely overpaid at Walmart for that. So I will check that and see if it's worth bringing back or not. And that's it. That's uh, what we do today. A Dollar Tree and two Sam's Clubs and a Walmart. And that's where we are. Just the important things that you would expect to be selling out or what is selling out. And uh, that's pretty much it. All right, guys, let me know how it is in your area, what you prepped today or what you tried to pep today and weren't able to. And above all, don't be scared, be prepared, and be blessed.